Welcome to part three of our wheatgrass growing experiment and educational process. Look at how nice this stuff has come in. Tonight we're gonna harvest, but I'd like to give a quick recap on all the things that we did to get to this point. We're not quite to eight inches, but we're going on vacation tomorrow, so I gotta cut them down tonight. We're gonna lose a little bit of production, but that's okay, it'll be well worth it. We've got good growth, we're probably 90% there, so that's good enough for me. So if you remember, from step to step, we started by soaking the seeds for about 12 hours. Then, we put them into the trays, and we covered them and kept them in darkness for a couple days until they started to sprout. Then, we let them into the light, and we've been rinsing the trays twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, and draining them off to keep the roots moist, but to, to keep excess moisture out of the tops therefore reducing the mold or eliminating the mold that sometimes grows deep down in the base. And if I find some as we cut this down, um, I'll show it to you. What we're gonna do next is actually process this wheatgrass and turn it into wheatgrass juice. So what you wanna do at this point is make sure that you have everything arranged and well laid out, ready to go. So here's what we got. We got some trays right here that we're gonna put the the wheatgrass juice into and I'm gonna freeze it right away. You've got approximately nine minutes before they start to oxidize and lose all their nutrients. It's very important to freeze the juice as soon as possible. So what we're gonna do is actually cut the wheatgrass down and run it through this juicer. This is a slow turning masticating juicer. Low RPMs are the key. If you chop it and grind it fast, it starts oxidizing immediately and you lose your nutrients. So you wanna grind it and squeeze it slowly to get the juice out and you got her made. All those vitamins and nutrients will be held within the juice. Over here, we've got our one, inch, one uh, ounce cups ready to go. So when I get that first crop ground up into juice, I'm gonna put them in these cups with lids and freeze them as soon as possible. So I'm feeding in the freshly cut wheatgrass into the juicer. We don't have to get greedy, but look at that beautiful chlorophyll filled juice. Liquid sunshine as many call it. And there you have it, my friends. I've got a little bit of a mess, and I'm very tired. It's 10.30, I had a big day, and sometimes the farm won't wait. But here's what's making me smile. I've got almost 100 ounces of pure sunshine. I'm using Mother Nature to keep it frozen for now. Then I'll organize it in my freezer before bed. And every morning I'll have a nice ounce waiting for me. This was well worth the time spent. Lots of fun, great health. Please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Make comments if you have any questions. Contact me anytime. I'm here to help. Have a great night. From the Anywhere Farm.